Good morning, friends. It is almost 7 a.m. I feel like every time I vlog, I'm on my way to the city. Truth be told, if I'm not traveling for work or something, my life is pretty boring. It's just me and Buff chilling all the time. But I have a job today in New York City for Macy's and it should be fun. It's not a photo shoot or anything. It's a live show, whatever that means. Sometimes I'll just show up and we'll see what happens when I get there. The show is gonna be at the Macy's location in Herald Square in Manhattan. So we have a fun day ahead of us. Today they're turning me into a mermaid. So they're putting like a synthetic rainbow wig on me. We'll see how that turns out. But I don't know what they plan on doing with my hair. They were like, oh, just come with it braided down or in a bun and then we'll turn it into an afro later. <sighs> It's not that simple. It's not that simple, babes. I was gonna make breakfast, but I am absolutely not hungry at all and I'm not gonna force myself. So I'll probably grab something in the city. It's a bucket hat kind of day. Let's go. Things have escalated very quickly. <laughs> Get into the look. Look how pretty. Literally as soon as I walked in, it was like boom, 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 makeup, now, wig. Look how pretty though. I can't get over this wig. This is for a Halloween special, so that's why I'm dressed up like a mermaid, but is she giving? All right, but this was the first half of the day, and then there's another show later, which is just like fall fashions. So I'm gonna eat lunch, and I'll be back later. a smoked turkey sandwich, a salad. I'm back at home. I literally, I planned on having an evening in the city and like getting dinner and by dinner, probably dig y'all. If you live in the city and you have dig, lucky you. It is so delicious. But it was pouring when I left the shoe and I, it was a long day. We got off at like six and I was just ready to catch the train, get back home to my buffers. So 
And I just also wasn't in a great headspace because raw moment. I made a post on Instagram that I loved. It's probably one of my favorite posts that I've ever done. It was just a cute little video, just celebrating myself. And it would just, and then I just kept getting negative comments about my body, people calling me fat, telling me that I've gained weight over the years and they were just really nasty. And it just, most of the time I just brush it off because anyone that takes the time out of their day to be that nasty, not well in the head and they're not all there. So I usually just brush it off and don't even entertain it. But at the same time, you guys, I am a human being and sometimes just seeing an influx of comments and negative things humming to your page, sometimes it just gets to you. So that kind of put me in a bad headspace and I just, I just wanted to get home. So I'd left the city early. Just so you know, the comments are no longer there. Anytime comments are left on my page like that, I usually try to delete them because when I just leave it there, it just brings more negativity. Um, people will come and double down on it and be nasty with them or my supporters will fight with them in the comments and then it's just an all day like back and forth of people arguing about my body and it's just like and I don't want to see that all day and there's been so many times I've literally waken up and seen a thread of comments of people talking about my body and it's just like I don't need that today I'm feeling better today I knocked out so early last night and I just whipped up some breakfast I meal prepped these muffins for the week I love it it's just spinach, feta, and egg. Most people, when they're doing egg muffins, they like beat the egg, but I leave it whole because it's like eating like a boiled egg, basically. So I'm having these, some turkey bacon, and some of my favorite cereal from Trader Joe's. I don't know what I'm doing today. I think I'm just gonna run some errands. I do wanna run to Trader Joe's. I don't know what the goal was with my hair after I took the wig off yesterday, but like, it was looking like a Brillo pad, and now I can't even like get through it, so. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I knew it was gonna be a hot mess when they said I'm gonna be wearing a wig half the day and then an afro the other half. I was like, that's a big undertaking. Overall, it was a super fun day. The Macy's team was fun. Romero, who did the mermaid makeup, I don't even know, he's like a super famous makeup artist with Mac. Like, I feel honored that he did my makeup. He snatched it, it was incredible. And the whole day was just super fun with Macy's. So I was always excited for this job because I used to work at Macy's. I worked in the women's shoe department selling shoes. Listen, if you ever need like a second job or you wanna get your money up, Macy's pays commission like in the shoe department. I used to make good money doing that. And it was honestly one of my favorite, most fun jobs that I've ever worked. So I was happy to be modeling for them. So hopefully I do more shows, but that was super fun. I'm feeling like a coffee today. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I just got a husky little package from Gymshark. I don't know what this could be. Ooh, socks. Here come Buffy being nosy. Nosy, nosy, nosy. All right, pink socks. Oh, I've been waiting for these. I'm excited about these because the old training hoodies didn't have this like cinch. It was kind of just open. And I don't like that. I don't like that breeze going up to my boobs. Ooh, what is this, chow? Oh, I think this is power. This little baby pink situation. What's going on with the lighting? What's going on with the lighting? What is this? Whose horse is that? Looks like a little tank. This is what I'm really waiting for. A body suit. Get into it. Oh, take it easy. Ooh, is this a built-in bra? No built-in bra. Dang. Look at this bodysuit, bruh. This is all oh, the 315 bra. I saw this on the website and it just looks so quality. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Feels amazing. Oh, new vital. Fun. Looks like new vital in like a foresty green color. Oh, finally, these are here. I wore these in my Texas vlog at the photo shoot. Look how freaking cute these little scrunchies are. Wow, these pinks are like really vibrant. Looks like a little crop tee from the power line. Cute. I think power is out now. So y'all can go shop if you're interested. But all right, that was a fun little unboxing. I'm most excited about the bodysuit and these 315 bras. Good stretching material. Definitely like a high support situation. I can tell we can breathe. I can hardly breathe. I lose all control and something takes over me. Thank you guys so much for coming to my Gymshark clothing haul. Back to you, Jim. Buffer's mama will be right back. 
you behave yourself. Love ya. Y'all already know what time it is. Did you guys know you can adjust your, um, wait, <laughs> I forgot how to adjust it. <laughs> you can like push it, bring it towards you, push it closer, move it down, move it up, like turn up. I learned everything about life on TikTok. If you're not on TikTok, get on there. The amount of stuff I learned on there is insane. I'm a golden child for real. I'm thirsty. I feel like nothing could be done with my hair, so I just left it in the Brillo pad. I'm the golden child for real. I always get annoyed when people say forever to order, but then when I get up to the window, <laughs> I act like I've never seen the Starbucks menu in my life. And I'm like, ooh, options. And then I take forever to order like i'm sitting here talking to you guys when i should be thinking about what i want i used to love the pumpkin cream cold brew but now it just doesn't taste good to me hi can i please have a grande iced apple crisp oat milk macchiato will that be all yes i'm the golden child for it. why am i so sleepy today oh fall just really kicks my butt oh i'm the golden child for it. I don't know if you see. Thank you. 